This is my high-tech soil sampler. It's just a piece of inch and seven-eighths. This one's galvanized. I don't think it really matters. I beveled the end, and I beat on it. And you can see, like, that is not the work of a blacksmith. That's the work of a sledgehammer. And about every two years, it, it crushes enough, it falls off, and then I send my neighbor, Dwayne Friesen, a picture of what fell off, and we think, oh, that's cool. But bottom line is, I beat it in six inches, and then I got a tap on it to make the dirt fall out. But I'll tell you what, this is a soil sampler, and I get my soil sampling done. And lots of guys say, well, you know, I want a Damien from, from uh, Nutrient to come soil sample my soil, but he didn't make it. There's only so many soil samples they can do in a fall. If you make yourself a soil sampler and you throw it in your pickup, and when you get out to your field in the fall, you just take your samples. And if you have bags right there in your pickup, you put it in the bag. And you, if you have your sledgehammer, you got to have it all there then. And it happens. And a soil sample isn't everything, but it'll give you a benchmark.